upgrade for the DBXL today. We're going to do the Losi 5T shot conversion. I did save myself a little bit of money. I got the clones. They're like the Roven shocks. I believe that's the part number. Let's try to fit them on. We got the rears all mounted. I uh, kind of experimented off camera on how to do it. Now I'll show you how I do the front. Now I have seen some people look on forums and stuff. They have done a tutorial in the past. Some people they've done a good job putting these uh, 5T shocks on. Some people I think they might want to reconsider what they've done. But I'm going to show you like the cheapest, easiest, most effective way to bolt these on. They're pretty much a direct bolt on. So we're going to take the stock shocks off. I already rebuilt these like less than a month ago and they're already leaking on me. So uh, we're scrapping them. Junk. So you're going to notice when you go to put your five T-shocks on, the bottom eyelet, there's a little bit of space here. So to take up the slop, go to your local hardware store and get yourself some flat washers. I believe they're about eight by six. I kind of uh, made do with what I had. I just found some washers and I drilled the holes out. So we're going to kind of put the shock in place and we're going to put the washer in behind. So we just put the washer in behind there. Now you're going to look at the top and you're going to think, well that sucks. What am I going to do there? You can tell uh, there's way too much slop between the screw and the hole there. So. I've had these kicking around, so these are free for me. Everything here was free because uh, it was kicking around. I got these, I guess they're called well nuts. Look for a nine and a half diameter, as you can tell right here. They fit mint. But as you can see, there is a little bit sticking out. So. You're gonna take a razor blade and you're gonna cut a little bit off. I'm gonna give you the exact measurement of what to take off, but uniquely enough, spins right on. And it fits on real nice. So you're gonna take five millimeters off of the shoulder side of the well nut. Or once you, once you, it's going to be easier once you cut the first one because you can just line them up and then just kind of uh, simply just cut it with the razor blade. So once you get your well nut cut to size, it's just as simple as spinning it on there. If need be, you can get a little bit of silicone spray, just spray it on there so the shot goes on a little nicer. Just a like of that. Put your factory nut back on. And it's a lock nut so I don't have to tighten it too crazy. Like legit, all I want to do is we're gonna go on and just as soon as it touches the rubber, we're gonna stop. There, because we don't really want the rubber to flare up against it too much. We want the shocks to move somewhat. So uh, that's how we did it. Now we got some low C 5T shocks on our DBXL with minimal money after buying the shocks. I mean, you're probably looking at 13 bucks extra to, to mount them. And I mean, it's like original hardware. I've seen people 
do all kinds of crazy things to mount these, but this is like all factory hardware for the most part, and it works. And you can save yourself more money like I did. Instead of going out and buying 5T shocks, just go out and get yourself some front uh, low C, or sorry, front Roven LT shocks all around. These are all front Roven LT shocks.